Hi everyone, this is Harry Werber from thebrightestlife.com. This video is all about creativity and specifically how to overcome writer's block or any of those other creative obstacles that we encounter anytime that we try and make something new. Now, if you're anything like me, uh, you'll know that this can be really, really uncomfortable. It's one of the most frustrating feelings that I know trying to uh, create something new, trying to sit down at the computer and write a new blog post or a new article or even to film a new video or to start a new project and just to feel like that creative juice isn't there. Sometimes it feels like we're divinely inspired, you know, the the uh, ideas just flow through really easily and sometimes it just feels flat and it feels stuck. So if that sounds like your situation right now, this tapping is for you. And also if you just wanna inject a little more creative oomph into your current project, um, you can try this out too and see how it goes. So taking full responsibility for your own experience and your own healing journey here, if you're gonna tap along, and tap on the side of your hand. Even though I'm feeling stuck right now, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling really stuck right now, I choose to give myself compassion. Even though I'm feeling really stuck right now and I don't feel like there's anywhere to go, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself anyway. I tap the eyebrow point. I'm feeling really stuck. It was going really well. And now I'm not going anywhere. And even though I feel completely stuck creatively, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I'm feeling frustrated. I'm feeling annoyed. I'm feeling uncomfortable. And I feel really stuck. And even though I feel all of those things, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Take a deep breath. Now, rate on a scale of zero to 10, how stuck you feel creatively right now. Uh, zero is not really feeling it at all. You feel free and easy and the ideas are coming, uh, just flowing through you. And 10 is completely in a hole, can't dig yourself out, impossible to be creative. Tap under the eye. Even though I feel really stuck right now. And as you say that, come up with that number in your head again how, of how stuck you feel. Tap under the nose. I love and accept myself. Even though it's uncomfortable to say it, I'm allowing myself to admit how stuck I am. I'm uncomfortable. I'm frustrated. And I'm stuck. Deep breath. Part of me wants to be disciplined. 
I'm telling myself, get on with it. I'm saying, get over it. I'm telling myself, pull yourself together. But that's not helping much either. In fact, it might be making it worse. Because now I feel stuck and guilty. I feel stupid for feeling stuck. I feel even less worthy. And even though I feel guilty and stupid, even though I feel like a failure for feeling stuck, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I choose to give myself a break. To be compassionate with myself. And tell myself supportive things inside. Tell myself it's okay. And it's safe to feel this way. So even though I've been feeling guilty and stupid, I choose to love and accept myself now. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Tap the eyebrow point now. Why do I have to feel like this? Nobody else seems to have this problem. I see all these people being creative all day. And until recently, I was one of them. Why do I have to feel blocked? It's okay. I'm open to the idea that I'm not the only one who's ever felt this. It's just possible that everybody feels stuck sometimes. So I'm starting to forgive myself for all of this stuck feeling. I forgive everybody else for being really creative and making me feel bad. And I choose to see how I'm just like everyone else. And I'm just going through a difficult time right now. It's safe for me to forgive myself. And I choose to forgive everybody else. Anybody else who's helped me to feel stuck. I forgive anyone who's ever been critical of my work or critical of my play. I choose to forgive all of them now. My family, my friends, my teachers. I'm choosing to let go of any of that negativity. Any criticism of what I've created.
and I'm letting go of any need for them to love what I do. Whether they like it or not, deep down I know that what I create is valid. And it's beautiful. Even if I'm feeling stuck. Even if it's such a struggle to create anything. Even if I hate what I create. And I'm constantly judging it. I'm starting to release those judgments now. And trusting that whatever I make is perfect in that moment. I'm releasing all the fear of what I make not being good enough. Letting go of all of this need for praise or validation. And choosing to believe that everything I make is perfect just the way it is. I can still choose the best things. I can still decide what I like the best. But I don't need to judge anything as bad anymore. I'm just letting myself be. I'm letting myself create. I'm allowing my body to relax. I'm allowing inspiration to flow through me. I'm opening myself up to new ideas. And releasing any remaining fear. that what I create won't be good enough. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Tap under the eye. But what if it's too good? What if I get really successful? What if I create a load of attention for myself? What if I make other people feel bad by being so creative? That's okay too. I'm allowing myself to release this fear as well. Trusting that the universe has got my back. Trusting that if it's my time to attract attention, then it's safe for that to happen. And if anyone else feels bad, because of something beautiful that I created? Well, that's just not my responsibility. And I'm letting them do their own work around that. So I'm letting my body relax. 
I'm allowing my mind to be free. I'm letting myself feel passionate and alive. I'm letting myself feel deeply creative. Letting myself tap into creativity. I'm opening up all of my senses. I'm letting myself access all of my skills. I'm tapping into my sense of intuition. And I really love and accept myself. It's safe for me to do this now. I'm giving myself compassion. And I'm giving myself love. And I'm feeling that in every fiber of my being. Take a deep breath. Great. So check in with that number again. How stuck do you feel right now? Well, maybe you don't feel stuck at all. Hopefully you feel inspired and ready to run off and get on with the next project or to revisit the one where you've been feeling so much challenge and so many obstacles around it. If not, if that number is still high, then try repeating this video again and see if you can bring that number down using your own words and being really specific about your own experience in this moment. I really hope this, that this video has helped you to tap into some of those fears and some of the discomforts around creativity and really helped you unlock that wellspring inside of yourself. So enjoy. Let me know in the comments how this worked for you. And until next time, keep tapping and keep creating your own brightest life today.